okay, okay, okay. Before you watch this video, I pronounce Jared Leto's name like Cheeto. So I say Jared Leto in the beginning of the video. Please forgive me. Okay, enjoy. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to my channel. My name is Joss. I started this channel February 14, 2021. And what else happened February 14, 2021? HBO dropped the official trailer for Zack Snyder's Justice League. So in honor of that, I am going to be following the training and diet of Jared Leto, who plays one of my favorite DC Comics characters, the Joker. Jared Leto is one of the healthiest people on the planet. One of the first things he does is get eight hours of sleep. So it is 9 p.m. right now. I'm in bed. I got my jammies. I got my trusty little sidekick right here with me. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. So I did not want to get up. But um, it is 6.30 in the morning. Um, you would think I slept more than 8 hours, but I didn't. 7 hours and 43 minutes. Um, and so Jared Leto goes ahead and start his day with a little bit of morning meditation. So what we're going to do is... Um, find something on the Calm app and get our meditation on. All right guys, so one of my favorite Disney characters is Winnie the Pooh. So we're gonna go ahead and do the Winnie the Pooh series and do the first one, which is Wu Wei. Basically, what this uh, meditation was was basically focused on Winnie the Pooh and I don't know if any of you guys have ever read the Tao of Pooh but it has to do with simplicity and basically just going with the flow like Winnie the Pooh and the theme what I got most out of this was all the thoughts that were like running through my head i was trying trying to remember what i had dreamt i don't know if you guys i forget instantly but the just as i was like trying super hard the guided lady on in the meditation was like you know whatever thought is pulling at you you know acknowledge it and just let it go and that made me so much more relaxed like i'm excited i'm gonna be finishing this series um you know from in the, within the next couple days shout out to jared leto um i might incorporate this into my own daily routine so now what i'm gonna do is get ready go to the grocery store grow a few things for breakfast and um i'll see you guys soon so i lied the grocery store isn't open yet so we're not going to the grocery store yet what we're going to do is go ahead and focus on jared leto's cardio he dedicates two days a week just for cardio fitness and he makes sure to get his 10,000 steps a day and one of his workouts includes cycling for 10 miles. So that's what we're not gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and go on a walk. I'm gonna take Ghost out on a walk, make sure we contribute to our 10,000 daily steps. Let's go. All right, so that was actually Ghost's first walk. I am outside of my local health store right now, the whole weedery and um, we're gonna go and pick up a few groceries. So if you, you might be like wondering why I needed to go to the grocery store so bad. So Jared Leto is actually vegan and his trainer or nutritionist 
advise him to eat like small portions every two hours you know to keep himself like full and help digestion so i know that i've tried that before with me it does not help keep me full um but that's what he does we're jared Lito today so let's get to it All right, so I just got back, just got out of the store. Um, it's super cool. So they gave me this box instead of giving me a bag, which is super neat because it's just one of their products and I don't have that much stuff. So um, shout out to them. What a cool idea. Um, so what I got was buckwheat um, pancake and waffle mix that was on um, the list of Jared Little favorite things. I got the... Um, pen pasta which is like but it's like made with organic corn flour brown rice flour and quinoa flour super cool beyond breakfast sausage i've heard a lot of good things about the beyond brand so i'm super excited to try this right now i got some blueberries i got just like feta feta cheese i've actually had this before and i really like it and then last this i've never seen before it's called simply eggless just how, how's it gonna taste, you know? Okay, so gonna go back home, cook some breakfast, and uh, we'll catch up with you guys soon. taste test so the eggs started out as an omelet but it didn't flip very well so ended up being a scramble um, I got some ketchup some a hash brown and some vegan water I'm gonna start off with the eggs because that's what I'm most interested by hmm okay so, I think just like that, I wouldn't be able to eat it, but with the bell pepper, salt, pepper, onion, it tastes like a good breakfast um, scramble. Let's try these sausages. Okay. Those are pretty good. For being vegan, I can tell there's like something healthy to it. Um, it's not bad, and the hash brown I've had it before. Um, it's just a Walmart hash brown, but dunk it in some ketchup, yum.
All right, so just like Jared Leto, I have an insatiable sweet tooth as well. And one of the things he does to curb that craving is buckwheat pancakes. And um, not gonna lie, I only made half a serving because they don't look the most appealing. Um, but anything with some syrup should taste pretty good. So, gonna try it. It's, it's not bad. It's just um, really grainy, like earthy. Um, but it's good. I eat these again. So I was really hungry. The breakfast didn't hold me over for long, um, but it was really good. Um, not really good. Uh, that that would be a lie, <laughs> but <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, enough for me to you know gobble it up within like a minute or two. Um, also, I'm glad I kept the portion small. Like I said earlier, Jared Leto, big portion control guy. Um, up next, we're going to do his training which on the website it had only a chest and triceps workout so that's what we're going to be doing i'll see you guys at the gym have seen the viral feta pasta that's going around on TikTok, but I'm going to be doing the vegan version in honor of Daddy Leto. So um, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, y'all, this looks absolutely insane and I'm so excited to try it. Final product. Moment of truth. Kind of nervous. Okay. This is so freaking good. I see now why it went viral. The vegan feta 
the 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 pasta the pasta the organic whatever it was pasta insane 10 out of 10 meal i gotta i gotta enjoy this um insane recommend you try it hands down no question Mm. Everything about it is just absolutely insane. The red pepper, the garlic, tomato, the feta, the basil. I don't even like basil all that much. Mm. Shout out to Tech Doc, bro. Whoever shared this recipe, kudos. Jared, Mr. Leto, if you haven't tried this yet, if you haven't added this to your vegan menu, do it, bro. Hands down, I swear, you'll you'll love it. All right, I'm gonna finish this up really quick, then I'll catch up with you guys in the in the evening. All right, as you guys saw. The gym workout was filmed later in the day, a little bit earlier. There was a little bit of a scheduling conflict, so I couldn't go. Um, but when I did get there, the gym was very full. It was basically max capacity. The equipment was extremely limited. So in order to be respectful of everybody's time, I just decided to go in, get out, and do my workout um, as quick as I could. And um, basically we got in after a little bit of a warm up, we did a chest and triceps workout out of a la Jerry Leto. And um, after workout, he always likes to do uh, yoga. And so this is really part of that like mindfulness and then that recovery that he's super, super strong on. So that's what we're gonna do. I've just looked up on YouTube, I just searched yoga. <laughs> um, but we're gonna pick uh, yoga with bird the 10 minute yoga full body tension relief so let's see how that goes thank you guys I never ever ever regret a yoga session I always feel so much better afterwards the neck rolls in that video oh my god my my neck cracked it was glorious but um, I want to go ahead and wrap up this video it was an honor to be Jared Leto for a day um, eating was great it was vegan which I don't really do naturally I'm not a vegan not even a vegetarian um, but it was fairly easy. I had a second serving of pasta for dinner and um, that was delicious. I feel full. I feel good. I don't feel hungry. I don't feel stuffed. Um, the buckwheat pancakes were definitely a little weird, but I like them. Um, the morning meditation. I'm excited to do Winnie the Pooh Day 2 tomorrow. And um, just, it was, this was fun. So a little bit about me, I um, I was always, you know, the, the good kid, responsible kid. So I went to school, went to work, got really good grades, I have a really good job, but I never really did anything fun for myself. Like I don't really have a, what I call a hobby other than, you know, working out in martial arts and, um... I mean, unless you call going to shows, I'm a little pop punk kid. <laughs> and um, that you see my hobby, but with COVID, you know, it's, what do I do? I just, I just work out. And um, recently I got my little pup, I got ghost. So I just wanted to do something that I could have fun with, that I could be me with, that I could document my little pup growing up because they're not here with us forever. So. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment what your favorite part was. And um, subscribe to me if you can. Um, new, new channel. Please be nice.
appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Until next time.